here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. And today we are making a plant. Yes, so this is a plant that will last forever and ever. You don't need to look after it, you don't need to water it, you don't need to give it any sunlight. It will just be there for you to brighten up your room. So I am going to give you a really simple way of making a leaf and we are constructing it already onto the stalk. So it's a project that you make, it's quite easy, you just make the different stalks with the leaves on it and then you attach them to the pot. So if you would like a plant that doesn't need looking after then this is a project for you that we are doing today. Let's get started. So what do you need for this project? Well here I have a selection of green yarns. Now I chose one color, you can choose multiple colors, and I have here chunky I have here DK and I have here um, Aran as well. So it doesn't matter what thickness you have, you can even combine thicknesses and colours. But I'm just going to stick to one colour which is the meadow and I have it in Aran. Of course feel free to use different thicknesses because that means you will get different sizes of leaves. Now here we also have, of course, a selection of hooks because depending on the thickness of your yarn, you're going to have to adjust your hook. But then again, if you use a smaller hook for the yarn, your leaf will become smaller. And if you use a bigger hook for the yarn, your leaf will become bigger. So it's going to be a fun project to just, you know, play with thicknesses and play with hook sizes. So you will also, of course, need your scissors and a darning needle. And I am going to be using a plastic plant pot to attach my leaf stems to. So all around, I've got my hot glue gun ready for that. And also I have a stone in there just to weigh it down a bit. So try and find something that you could put in there, maybe a bag of rice, a bag of dried goods that you could put in there just to make it a little bit heavier so that when you put it down, it stays down, because of course the crochet doesn't weigh enough. Now you could also hang it up, and I have in the past done a couple of videos with plant hangers, so I will link those in this video for you to go to and use those as um, you know, sort of a plant hanger for hanging up your plant. So yes, that is what you will need, so now let's get started. So let's get started on one of these branches of leaves. So we're going to make a slip knot, insert your hook, and like I said, use whichever hook that goes with the yarn or that you usually use with that thickness of yarn. And you're going to chain a number of chains. It doesn't matter how many, but make it a little bit long because this is the start of your stem of leaves and you're going to be attaching this inside the pot. So let's say about 10, 15 chains. So of course this depends on the thickness of your yarn. If you have a thinner yarn, you might need to do a few more chains, okay? Now, we're going to make a leaf and every leaf will need 10 chains. So let's chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Then there is a certain sequence that we are going to do and this is the sequence, okay? So in the second chain from your hook, this one here, you're going to get started with a single crochet. Voila. The next stitch is going to be a half double crochet. The next stitch is going to be a double crochet. The next stitch is going to be a double crochet. The next stitch is going to be two treble crochets. So you yarn over twice and you place a treble crochet in the next stitch and you yarn over twice and you place a treble crochet into that same stitch. Then 
you yarn over into the next stitch you do a double crochet voila now you're going to do two chains and then into the next stitch you're going to do a slip stitch so you insert your hook now you have to make sure your working yarn comes along with you so you turn your work and you pull the working yarn through the loop on your hook we've now done a slip stitch and we have finished the first half of our leaf and basically we're going to do the same thing again but in reverse order so we're going to do a chain two then here we did a double crochet so that means we're going to do a double crochet into that same stitch so as you can see you now have one strand left over and that's the one that you need to pick up but it's a little bit difficult to get into it like this so I'm turning my hook and then I can catch that leftover strand quite easily okay so the next stitch here we're going to have to do two trebles because that's what we did here so yarn over twice turn that hook under that strand and we are doing our first treble yarn over twice back into that same stitch and we are doing our second treble there we go then we are going to do a double crochet into the next stitch a double crochet into the next stitch a half double crochet into the next stitch and into the last stitch here a single crochet voila so that's the second side done now to close the side we're going to do a slip stitch under this stitch here voila and that now brings us to the very point of our leaf and we are going to do a slip stitch row all along the leaf to create a vein so to speak and we are going to place our stitches into the holes that you see that we have made from every chain because of course we have used it on both sides so let's see if we can get into here voila and we do a slip stitch into the next one bring up the yarn and we do a slip stitch don't do this too tightly so you don't compact the leaf and just check that you are going into those stitches there voila and you do this all the way to the end okay so this is what it looks like now and then here you are going to have to go what I've been doing actually is going under these but not in there so you need to just make sure you pick up these two strands here that's better see then you also go into your chain and you pick up yeah you go through the chain there can you see right so now I'm going to bring back the yarn bring it through this and then bring it through the loop on your hook voila and now I go back to my chain and I find somewhere to go into and I do another slip stitch there we go and that has finished our leaf now you have a choice you can do another couple of slip stitches onto your chain and this will make a little stalk for the leaf like so and then you start chaining one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen because if you chain ten that's the amount you will need for your next leaf I've now chained 16 so that will mean I will have six chains left over so I will have a little bit of space here between my two leaves but if I wanted more space or less space you can decide how many chains you do so if you want less space you just do 10 or 12 
chains and then you have a tiny amount in between but you could also easily do one two three four and now i have 20 chains in between and i'm going to use 10 so i'll have this amount in between my leaves so if you uh, wanted to do that like for example here i've made them really close together and here i had a long bit in between so this will give you the more natural way of a plant and you can vary the different vines that you're going to make with the distances in between the leaves. Okay, so now I think I've chained enough, so I'm just going to do another leaf. So into the second chain, single crochet, next chain, half double crochet, next chain, double crochet double crochet, then two treble crochets, a double crochet, two chains, go over to the chain, make sure your working yarn is still on the right side, one, two, doing my double crochet, doing the two trebles. I mean, it's a really quick leaf to make because before you know it, you're doing the slip stitch. Half double here. Voila, single crochet there, slip stitch, and we're doing the central vein. So you get started at the top, you make your vine or, or stalks and leaves in one go. So you just keep going like this. I mean, I made this on the train, so easy. You just sit down. Now I just did one, two, three, four, and so on. Or you don't even have to count them as long as you've done 10. And then you can be surprised by how much space there is in between. <laughs> but anyway, so this is the way you're going to keep going. I'm now going to do a few so it's a little bit longer so I can show you how I always finish. So I have now decided that my stalk here is long enough. So I've made one leaf where I've gone back on to making a little stalk here. Now I'm going to do another leaf. So I'm going to sort of end in three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm only going to do one, two, three, right? So that will give me a leaf sort of that finishes there. So let's do that one. And of course you can make these stalks of leaves as long as you want. You can <coughs> make as many as you want. You can make a small pot, you can make a large pot. You can put like 10 of these in or five or three or whatever you want. You could also make this all along the room, for example. You, know, you keep going and make it really long to put it all around or you know use it in a decoration with of course other leaves as well or other flowers so now that i've finished this leaf as well i'm going to go up the stalk and make it closer there we go and now I'm going to do this another time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This time I'm going to make another leaf.
there we go and so this is now our end so I'm going to make a little stalk again up there and just one more slip stitch and there we go so this is now sort of the end of our you know sort of stalk of leaves and we've got sort of little three leaves close together and that makes it a nice end so there we go so all you need to do now is cut off the yarn sew in the ends and then we will be ready for assembly so here i have all my uh stalks of leaves that i have made now i have various lengths and i suppose they go from about 50 centimeters to about 75 to yeah maybe 50 um, this one is quite a long one I think this would go to about 80 centimeters so depending on of course how long you want it how much you want your plant to to you know come down um, you make the length of them of course um, but um, also you could add to it so you could start with shorter ones to start with and then in a few weeks make some and then make those longer and add them to it and then it looks like your plant is actually growing so anyway i have here all my leaves i've got my hot glue gun heating up i have two of these pots so as you can see different shapes i'm going to choose this one because i quite fancy this size so i'm just going to have this end here and i'm going to hold it like so let's see if this already yes some of it is already coming out so i'm going to make a little blob there of hot glue and then i'm going to press this into it there we go okay let's try again yeah this is hotter now there we go and I'm going to press that into there. Make sure I don't burn myself. Maybe I could use something to press it into. There we go. So I'm going to go all the way around and attach my stalks, just random basically, um, making sure that I have some greenery on all sides of my plant. Yeah, this one was a little bit shorter. That's okay. There'll be a leaf inside my little pot here. That's fine. Right, let's do some more. Then add your weight to the pot and decide how you're going to hang it up, of course. So I have just placed it into my plant hanger that I made previously. I even uh, put it inside the pot that I made it for and I think it looks really nice like this. So one of the longer veins I suspended along the wall and I think it looks great here. Now I tried to come up with lovely crochet projects that would interest you and that would maybe challenge you a little bit from time to time. So I hope this would be a lovely project for you to tackle and to make for your craft room, for your caravan or for giving away as a housewarming plant to a person of which you know who doesn't really have green fingers. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you will consider subscribing if you haven't already done so and I also hope that you would share this video with other like-minded people who would enjoy this project. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!